Hello SFDC folks. I hope everyone is doing good. So today we are going to discuss about a wrapper class. This is something which is very important and very helpful. The concept of wrapper class is, has been very helpful in all sorts of programming languages, not only in Apex, but, so, but also in Java and other. So we'll discuss about the concept of wrapper class and use this in one of our scenario based functionality as, as usual as we used to do previously as well. So here we will take one scenario. That is, if, uh, I, if I want to return the details of account and its related opportunities as well as contacts as a single one object. And as we know that uh, in an Apex class, we can only return a primitive data type. That is a list of object or string or integer, something like that. Only one data type can be returned. But what if we want to return the combination of all sorts of data like uh, uh, related number of opportunities to an account, the account's name itself and the uh, whether the account has a primary contact or not. So all these details we need to return as one single unit. And in this, in order to achieve this, we can use a wrapper class. So this i know this can also be built using other features such as uh, creating a master detail field on account to store the number of opportunities into it and also create a boolean or a checkbox field on account to store the whether uh, any contact uh, associated contacts is primary and that needs a process again a trigger or something that will mark this checkbox as true or false based on whether there is any related uh, uh, primary of contact or not so all this will include a lot of implementation and functionality built. But rather, we will use a wrapper class to achieve this without uh, having to do so many things at all. So in order to build this particular scenario, I will take reference of my previous implementation or previous video that I will share the link with you as well, where what we did is we have exposed our Apex class to the external system. That is, this particular Apex class can be called from Postman and get the output whatever it returns. So this has a basic, very simple architecture that I will give a brief through. That is, the Apex class here should be global because it will be called from outside and it should be annotated with at the rate rest resource with a URL mapping which contains the URL mapping is nothing but the endpoint that will be called from outside to Salesforce should contain this particular keyword or you can say text post which there is a star mark that means it can have anything after this text and this index uh, sorry and this slash it can have anything so i can show you quickly how the url will look like when called from postman it is this it is the combination of my domain url then services and this is the apex rest keyword which we used whenever we are trying to call any apex class of salesforce or and this is the url mapping that i was showing in the apex class here this is the keyword it should come right after apex rest and star means it can have anything suppose we want to pass any variable into that uh, endpoint url then we, we can include it after this slash that's why i put a star over here that after this keyword the url can have anything or nothing so based on our requirement, whether we can send a, a ID of the report for which we want to fetch the details of, or we can make it null as well. So this is the first architecture. And then we move through. There should be a global method as well inside that class, which will be annotated with at the rate HTTP get so that it is called whenever we are making a get call out from external system. So this method will be called. And similarly, if you want to make a post call out from outside, then we will have another method with the annotation as HTTP post. So here we want to get the details. So we have created this HTTP get method. And there can be only one HTTP get method in, inside the same class. We cannot have more than one. But we can have post, delete and other annotated methods in the same class. Next thing what we did is we have just extracted the account ID or the variable which we are passing through the endpoint URL. So for that, whatever this rest context is the object or we can say the API call object inside which there is a request. So I'm sending an API request from outside 
which I am storing here in this object and inside that request there will be a request URI unique resource identifier that is nothing but the URL which we are breaking down further to extract the I account ID that is appended after the last slash in the URL so if you see there are multiple slashes in the URL but after the last slash only there is an account ID which I am sending so we just we are just extracting the account ID out of the URL and storing it into the account ID field now our actual process will start so what we want to do here is we want to fetch the relate number of related opportunities of this account and also to see whether there is any primary contact associated with this account ID if yes then true otherwise false and we want to send the name of this account as well for which the ID has been sent so these three details we want to return to the postman and as we know these three info only account name can be fetched from account object but uh, number of opportunities cannot be returned directly from account object as there is no field which is storing this data and also there is no such field in account object which which indicates that there is a primary contact associated or not so for that we have to create a wrapper class that will hold all these details and return so what we will do is we will create a wrapper class and the wrapper class should be created inside the main class only so we'll create a wrapper class here wrapper uh, sorry it's the uh, scope should be global and the name of the class we can name it as wrapper class inside this we will declare all those variables which we want to return and i'm taking all different data types just to show that wrapper class supports all different data types of variables that can be used so first will be account name which is of string type let's keep it as blank initially then we'll have integer which is the number of opportunities will be zero initially and then we'll keep a boolean so that we expose all different types of data types as possible as much as possible we'll keep as primary contact Let's keep it as false initially. Okay. So this declaration of the wrapper class is done. Now we'll fetch the necessary details first. So we'll first fetch the opportunity, related opportunities of that account. Okay. Opportunity list. We'll make a simple SQL query. Select ID and also I can fetch the name of the account directly inside from inside the opportunity as there is a opportunity uh, there is a look of field inside opportunity with the account object from opportunity and make a filter as well where account ID equals to this particular account ID which has been sent from the URL so there is a lookup field on opportunity named as account id which is holding reference to my account object then we'll query the contact as well and here explicitly the primary contacts associated with the with this account select ID. Contact where again we there is a lookup field on contact called account ID which is holding reference to account object. We'll use the same filter here as well, which is the account ID which is being sent from URL, and there will be an additional filter which will check whether the contact type is primary or not. So we want to fetch only those contacts whose contact type is primary. if there are any okay we haven't forgot to mention from here hmm. 
now we have fetched the necessary details but we cannot make multiple returns or we cannot return this entire thing we cannot return this entire details as one single unit because these details are stored in different different objects so it cannot be returned all together at once we have to store it somewhere so we will make use of this wrapper class we will create an object of this wrapper class to store the necessary details first so first we will store the account name whatever fields we have declared over here i will just provide value into those fields so account name will be whatever opportunity that i have queried i will just take the first opportunity first which is stored in the first index of that list because all opportunities will be obviously whatever we have fetched will have same account so we'll it will take pick any one of them and use the account dot name field to fetch the value of the account name then we'll store the number of opportunities the value into this variable number of opportunities here it is nothing but the size of the this list whatever the size of this list is actually the number of opportunities okay so in the number of records the opportunities that have been fetched is stored in this list and the size of this list is identified as number of opportunities then the next thing is whether there is any primary contact or not we will fetch field value into this so this will be a conditional assignment only if this list has at least one record because it is it is see the query it says that fetch id from contact where the account id is this account id and the contact type is primary so even if one record also is also fetched we will mark this as true and if there were no records fetched with the type as primary then that means there was no primary contact associated and we'll mark this as false so what we will do is we'll just take index uh which we will just check the size of it if it is more than zero then definitely there is a primary contact then we will return true otherwise return false simple so what we are doing is we are just checking whether the contact list which has been queried has a size more than zero then return then is stored true into this variable else return false okay so all the details are being fed now i will now have to return so the return what i have to return is the object of this wrapper class and i have also need to change the return type of this particular method it will be the name of the wrapper class called here i have to return the object of the wrapper class and either here the return type will be name of the wrapper class then we will save this the apex class customization is now done we'll go to postman and let's take this account first which has two opportunities and yeah it has a primary contact so let's see the output what it what my apex class returns okay number of opportunities is two has primary contact true yes it had uh, a one primary contact associated and the account name is adams 335 inc this is perfect it has returned me all data wrapped inside one particular unit 